Hi everyone, this is Francisco, and I am recording this video because for some strange reason, I get the, I get the feeling that all of us People that know me, people around me, it seems like, oh, excuse me, um, It seems like like we're not even inside the real world. It seems like we are living inside of an artificial building like a skyscraper. And somehow they were they're able to to make it appear like we're out in the open and maybe possibly that is the reason why they destroyed the twin towers. Think about it. Maybe something was going on and the people that knew about it destroyed those buildings for a reason. Now, obviously, in the eyes of the public or the years of the public, that would be complete ludicrous. And straight up disrespectful right but just theorize with me for a second because you know looking back at my life um i remember i was doing good going to school and then all of a sudden in middle school Students there started showing me, you know, drawings of gangs. So they led me astray. But I think they did it on purpose. And eventually I ended up in, in juvenile hall. I remember someone jumping me, two guys, they jumped me, and, you know, luckily for me, like, I knew how to fight, so, you know, it wasn't that bad, like, I wasn't on the ground getting stomped out or anything like that, but in the county jail, I remember... Um, the system put people with me where I was at. You know, so we could like fight or something or even kill each other. So I think, I think these people are like legally trying to, um, take me out because you know <clears throat> you know I got in a gang for like three years but I'm not even 
about that life. But I think these people want to use that against me. So people can have a reason to fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? And if you are in a gang. Then. People are doing that on purpose. Unto you. So they could have a reason to fuck with you as well. Because there's such a thing. There's such a thing as. Gang detectives. Right? So they're probably doing that on purpose. They're working together. Um, and then, yeah, like, even, even today, like, even right now, you know, like, there's no reason why I don't have a lot of money. And it seems like people are accusing me, like, I hear voices People are accusing me, saying that I'm lazy, saying that I spent all my money on alcohol and cigarettes, which is a fucking lie. You know, I do spend a lot of money on that, but I don't make a lot of money. I only earn like less than $2,000 every single month. And to back that up, I actually receive EBT. Okay? Food stamps. Digital food stamps. So, you can't receive that unless you're earning only a certain amount of money per month. Okay? So there's something fishy going on and my mind still can't figure it out, but I just wanted to record this video because I think there might be people out there who are pretending to like me, but in reality they don't. They're just acting. But that. And okay. So they know that right. So automatically what are they going to say. Oh this guy's delusional. This guy. He's a threat to other people. Oh he might be a threat to himself. Right. Can you guys hear them talking like that already. Or is it just me hearing voices? Or me just thinking all this up? See what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just like the government. There's the Republicans and the Democrats. But they're all working together. At the end of the day, they're working together. So it feels like that. And it feels like these people are rising up against me. And for you people out there who are innocent, who don't know, who don't really understand a lot of things about my life or whatever. You people are just listening to them. You guys are just feeding off their energy and their statements. That's why, you know, I talk a lot, a great deal about the digital ID because even celebrities, even the president of any country, they have tabs on their whereabouts, what they're doing, who they're conversating with, who who they could even conversate with. And that's the same with celebrities. So, like, what are these people? What if these people are using the knowledge that they extract with 
everything that they learn from us individually against us. I mean, I really don't know what to think. I feel like I'm inside like a box. You know, and everyone's out there looking at me. So I really don't understand any of this because you know, I've, ha I have spoken a lot, a great deal about poor man patents. I attempted to build a website and the code just got messed up. I signed up on like Teespring or <coughs> kind of like, um, I forget what it was, but it was like a business to like design t-shirts and then selling them, but having the company do all the work. So like I was doing that, but I couldn't really connect it. And I think people were hacking me. And even today, like, no matter what I do, it seems like I fail. But I know that I'm not. I'm smarter than that. And I think they're hating. And I think that they're doing it on purpose so that so I could think mentally that I'm a loser and that I'm losing. But I know that I'm not. I know I'm smarter than that. I, I didn't say I'm smarter than them. I said I'm smarter than that. Okay. So what other people have to say, it's not going it's not going to affect me in the way that I think. It's like they're treating me like an animal. Like give this dog his daily essentials. Essentials. And that's it. That's how I feel. I'm like someone else's pet out there. You know, just give him his little human house, human room, his little human meals for the day, limited, restricted traveling, and whatever else you people can think of. So, what is that? What do you people call that? First of all, it's stress. They're stressing me out. So when someone goes to court. And they win a lawsuit. Guess what? They don't just win money for a lawsuit. They get money for other things as, as well. Including the stress that was inflicted. I mean, some people get so stressed out, they have heart attacks. Okay? And this is not a joke. So, I mean, it, because it's so obvious, like everything I'm doing, everything I've been talking about, Everything I've been sharing online. And we're dealing with AI. But 
you people out there have no clue. So, okay, let me backtrack here. Okay, so in the beginning, in the beginning of the video, I said that it seems like we're inside of a building, kind of like the Roman arena. And maybe we did something bad to anger the gods, per se, right? So we're all here, and these people want us to fight each other. They want us to have some form of conflict towards one another. I mean, you people can just think, just think. You know, think about everything. But do you people feel that way? Because I was watching a movie about these sharks, real life sharks in the ocean. And apparently they bred them and they became more aggressive, kind of like a pit bull, like a dog. And they were killing other sharks and they were killing humans. As opposed to the regular, like, more timid or temperamental type of dogs. You know, with a lower temperamental. Not like a pit bull, more aggressive, right? So, what happened in the movie, they sent two groups of people in the same location, which was like an island. The first group, well, there's two groups. One group was to destroy the sharks. Wildest, or wild, the other group was there to protect the sharks and to continue the research. Guess what happened? They started killing each other. See, there is controversy. <clears throat> it's like, there's like an outside group fucking with everyone's minds. And if we can't see that, what is the end result? The end result is us fighting each other. And all for what? You guys get what I'm saying? So that's what ended up happening. And all of us out there, we're dealing with cases. We're dealing with real life problems. Okay? And I remember watching this one, or looking at this one image, and it was one person looking down on another person, and then above this person that was looking down on this other person, this person was looking down on that person, and then there is a person above this other person looking down on that person. So everyone's like pointing fingers. Just everyone's out there just doing their jobs. But at the same time, you know, finding any little excuse. We always have a reason to blame people. Or to contradict people. And it's like, what are we, what are we as humans, you know, really doing here on earth? And I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm being serious. Okay, like, I just don't understand what 
all this is all about. You know? And I'm getting confused. But I think I think what they what they probably want is to like lock me away. You know, because today I heard a I heard someone saying Oh, just, just lock them up. Just, you know what? Just lock them up for life. And then someone else was like, like, you know what? You say that so carelessly. You say that so, like, without any kindness. Without any remorse. You say that like nothing. Like with no sympathy. Like you cannot sympathize. With people who are doing life in prison right now. All you care about is yourself. All you care about. Is your own little world. And as long as you're not doing life in prison. It's okay. And fuck everyone else. And anyone who you think des- deserves life in prison for whatever fucking reason. Okay? So, like, you know, th- there's a lot to to consider. There's a lot to like evaluate you know when when determining or the like the determining factor to give someone life in prison or not okay so when people out there say stuff like that people are just looking at them like what are these people thinking you know like what the fuck did this person kill someone you know, you know that type of thinking. Um, but obviously, as I was going about my day, I just forgot about like what I heard in my mind, and I just started thinking about other things. But for some reason, you know, that, you know, the voices are still there. I can't seem to, to, to filter them out. You know, I I can't seem to do that. And... It's really annoying and frustrating. And, you know, one thing I hear, like, bluntly, I hear it like, like a shout, like a scream. Like, I hear the words, just shut the fuck up. Or be quiet. Or, you know, stuff like that. Like. I don't know what it is. And and um, well, I'm just trying to figure all this stuff out. Oh, shoot. Um.
And, oh yeah, like, I was watching a movie with my brother. And, um, well, in the movie... It's a weird movie. It was a weird movie. But it was a good movie. And just put it this way. I I can you know read between the lines in more ways than other people like like a special ops type of person so obviously there's nothing for me to worry about you know And like the Bible says, to cast all my worries and anxieties over on him because he cares for me. So I strongly believe that because it seems like the more I attempt to do that, the more like. people or or the devil the enemy wants to attack me and if I'm not over here crying or sad then they get upset but it's the opposite reaction you know like I think it was Edison or Some small person said, if there's an, if there's a negative reaction, there's a positive reaction. If there's a positive reaction, there's a negative reaction. So that's what I, I feel. If I, if I'm happy, guess what? If I'm happy, they get angry. If I get angry, they become happy. If I'm sad, they're joyful. If I'm joyful, they're sad. You guys get it? And I could sense just right now that I said that. Outbursts of anger. Kind of like. The people back in the day in the Old Testament, they would tear their clothing apart and they'll say blasphemy, blasphemy, like if they were demon possessed for like a quick second, like they just have a fit of anger for, you know, like just randomly. And I'm not trying to mess with anyone's feelings. I'm trying to get my point across. Whether I am stuck inside of a building and they just made it appear like I'm not. You guys get it? Like, Even though they have these huge buildings. Or what appears to be huge. Tall buildings and. Stuff like that. Big scenery. The ocean. But in reality. I'm just. Like inside of a building. 
That's why people get so angry when I take a piss outside. On the dirt. Because it's all like artificial stuff. So if I take a piss on the dirt, I'm actually taking a piss like in a planter. Like I'm taking a piss, but there's concrete. And then they added the dirt. Then they added more concrete. Then they added the roads. So everything's artificial. But at the end of the day, it's just concrete. It's just another floor. That's why people get angry when I go outside and take a piss. Like, why are you taking a piss outside? Well, dogs do that as well. I mean, unless they're robots or something, the dogs, and they're not really urinating, they're just like, it's just like throwing out water. But I don't even know anymore. But um, that would be a trip, though, right, people? That would be weird, right? Like, who would go through, or who would go to those extremes? To make someone think that they got released from prison. To be released into a bigger prison. With more privileges. Yet still confined. And me noticing that. Because everyone else has money. Everyone else has a house. Except. Meow. Me. Anyways I'm gone.